what is the cost of building bed sitters or one bedroom rental houses on a 50 by 100 plot and how many bed sitters or one bedroom can a 50 by 100 plot take so those are the questions that people are asking me in my inbox so i'll be answering all these questions in this video so make sure that you subscribe make sure that you comment make sure that you like this video and share this video a 50 by 100 plot can take up to 12 to 15 bed sitters if you go with bed sitters or can take 8 to 10 one bedrooms if you go with one bedrooms and if you want to go with two bedrooms can take four to six two bedrooms so you'll choose which one you want but for the bed sitters or for one bedroom I think it can be easier and it can be good for you to invest in bed sitters and one bedrooms so kabla ujaanza kujenga lazima utafute professionals wenye watakusaidia kujenga wenye watakusaidia ku plan wenye watakusaidia ku design hizo bed sitters ama one bedroom so ukishapata au professionals watakuchorea for example architecture atakuchorea akisha kuchorea atakuambia hii ploti yako itabeba bed sitters ngapi but inaweza beba 12 to 15 or 16 bed sitters ama 8 to 10 one bedrooms so atakuambia exactly kulingana na vile size ya plot yako inaka atakuambia ni ngapi so after hapo utaanza utatafuta fundi mwenye atakufanyia construction so wataanza kwa kuchimba kuchimba foundation na kujenga utahitaji kokoto mchanga nini so ukipiga hesabu ya foundation na bed sitters kama unajenga let's say 14 bed sitters foundation cost it has a cost around 1.2 million to 1.5 million yeah that is excavating e, kukoroga hiyo footing weka chuma na kukoroga hiyo footing then wajenge foundation utanunua materials za foundation mawe mchanga ballast then after hapo wakisha jenga hadi kwa ile level ya engineer ame recommend kwa sababu foundation lazima ipite height ya barabara ndio maji isikuje kwa nyumba isumbue tenants wako so lazima engineer a recommend the level or the height of the foundation so that water haitakuja ku disturb your tenants hakutakuwa na over flooding kwa nyumba so ukisha jenga hadi kwa hiyo level utakoroga hiyo slab so after slabbing unakuja kwa walling so walling it uh, consist kuweka walls na ku divide the slab into those bed sitters that you want the sizes that you want or the sizes that the engineer or the architecture has recommended so after hapo utaanza hiyo walling kwa walling utahitaji mawe 5000 500 to 6500 depending on the size and depending na venye ume ume divide those bed sitters so ukipiga na hesabu ya 50 to 60 shillings utaona ime imekula karibu to 50000 up to 350000 there so after hapo utahitaji 40 tons of sand ya kujenga hizo mawe hiyo ni ya kujenga mawe peke yake 40 tons na pa every turn turn na beba wilbaro nani so pa every turn unaekea simiti 2 and a half cement kwa ratio ya 1 to 3 so utahitaji simiti roughly utahitaji simiti 100 bags of cement so ukipiga hiyo hesabu yote walling peke yake itakula itakula around 1 million to 1.2 million kujenga hizo bed sitters walling peke yake so kuje kwa hii rental ya kushikilia mabati and for me i prefer kama unataka ku save on the cost of constructing constructing those bed sitters 
unaweza weka hidden roof hidden, hidden roof ina save on the roofing cost kwa sababu hidden roof aina design mingi ya roofing haitumii mbao mingi pia inatumia less iron sheets mabati so for me i prefer utumie hidden roof nitawaweke hapa picha muone venye hidden roof inatokea so hidden roof inasaidia na ina save on the cost so ukiweka ukishamaliza walling unakuja kuporoga hiyo rental ambayo utahitaji steel utahitaji chuma utahitaji mbao za kushikilia hiyo rental utahitaji kokoto utahitaji simiti so kokoto itatumia kama 10 times kwa hizo 14 bed sitters na mchanga itatumia kama 18 tons na smith itatumia kama 30 bags ukoroge hiyo rental uweke size kama ya 300 to 400 hapo ndio ishikilie hiyo roof vizuri na sasa uweke uweke zile mkuwa za kushikilia wall plate so after hapo eh, ukuje sasa kwa roofing 14 bed sitters kila bed sita inabeba eh, mabati 14 so itahitaji like 84 mabati kwa those 14 bed sitters 84 mabati utahitaji 84 mabati kwa hizo bed sitters so ukipiga hiyo sababu ya mabati na mbao utahitaji ya 4 by 2 utahitaji kama 1000 feet 3 by 2 utahitaji kama pia 1000 feet na 2 by 2 utahitaji kama 1500 feet so ukipiga the cost of roofing utakuta ina accommodate up to 800,000 shillings kama utaika hidden roof on those 14 bed sitters so ukipiga hiyo sabu yote alafu kuje finishing finishing ya bed sitter haikuwa ngina finishing mingi sana finishing ya hizi 14 bed sitters ama 10 bedrooms itaza kukost around 700 to 1 million Kenya shillings kufanya finishing that is kupiga plaster kupaka rangi kuweka tiles na finishing paka ya nje inaweza kugarimu around 700,000 to 1 million depending na venye unataka hiyo finishing ikue inaweza kuwa pia zaidi kulingana na venye unataka plot yako ikae na pia inaweza kuwa chini kama uko na shamba ya 50 by 100 na unataka kujenga bed sitters na one bedrooms approximately lazima ukue na 3.5 million to 6 million around hapo kulingana na venye unataka nyumba zako zikae na pita tegemea na mali uko location mali uko tegemea na gradient ya shamba yako shamba yako mchanga iko nayo kama ni maram soil kama ni rocky soil kama ni clay soil kama ni loamy soil so itategemea so it has a take around 3.5 to 6 million pita tegemea na finishing venye unataka finishing ya rental zako zikae na pita tegemea na distance transportation distance of your plot to where you buy your materials so na kama uko na 50 by 100 plot na bado unataka kujenga gorofa eh, procedure ni ile ile kama ni gorofa foundation yako lazima u introduce columns ukiintroduce columns itasaidia ku beba ile weight ya slabs kwa sababu ukitaka kujenga gorofa lazima kutakuwa na slabs so hizi columns zitasaidia kujenga slabs so construction cost itakuwa higher kwa sababu ya hizi columns kwa sababu ya slabs so ukiwa na 50 by 100 na unataka kujenga gorofa foundation cost inaweza ku cost around 1.5 to 2 million Kenya shillings only the foundation cost kwa sababu lazima uweke foundation ikiwa stable utumie chuma zile strong na utuk e, smithi utumie depending ama kulingana na vile engineer wako amekuwa advice so utakuta foundation cost itakuwa 
a bit expensive ndio iweze kubeba ile weight ya slabs zenye zinakuja depending na zile gorofa unataka kuweka kama utaweka gorofa nne itabidi utumie chuma zile strong kama utaweka gorofa tatu chuma lazima zikuwe strong gorofa mbili chuma lazima zikuwe strong ndio iweze kubeba ile weight ya slabs so foundation itaweza ku cost like 1.5 to 2 million Kenya shillings so after foundation umekoroga paka slab ground floor unaweza ikaikuwa parking area so utasimamisha tu columns peke yake ama unaweza fanya ikuwe rooms those bed sitters but ni vizuri uweke pia parking ndio tenants wako pate mali pa kupaka gari so kama unataka kujenga gorofa ya rental kama hii hapa hivi nitawaweke hapa picha itakugarimu like 12 to 15 million ndo uimaleze na hii itakupea kama 30 to 40 units kwa 50 by 100 piece of land na utakuwa umefanya investments mzuri sana so consider uh, doing this investments so kama wewe ni mgeni kwa hii channel make sure you subscribe tutaendelea kuelimishana na kama you are a returning subscriber thank you so much and sure you like this video subscribe to this channel comment down below and share this video so that tunaendelea kuelimishana na hashtag yetu itaendelea kuendelea